Now, because I am using the same account in my Power BI as well as in PPT, it is suggesting me these are the possible things which you are already having, which one you want to go. Okay, so that's possible. Now, one important thing which most of the people were curious about is sharing it in PPT, right? Huh? Most of the presentations which we make are in PPT. Power BI is interactive, it's good, but presentation to PPT may banana. So what can be done? So I will show you, I've created one sample, like blank PowerPoint file. Okay, and nothing is there in this report. Imagine this. Maybe first slide this, then second slide like this, third slide totally blank. And like that, you have created your own presentation, original presentation. And then you thought, okay, all this story is fine, but let me bring some numbers, some graphs, interactive ones. Okay. So in the third page, I want to insert my Power BI thing. So first of all, you need to go to your report. And you need to click on export. Now there are three options available here. PDF, you have seen it in the desktop also. The other option is PowerPoint. PowerPoint gives you two options, image or live data. So if you click on image, what it will do, it will take a snapshot of each page and then put it in a PPT. Same like PDF, no interactivity, but screenshot in PPT, you will give, you will get. So let me click on this also. Okay. So let it generate. Now the second option is PowerPoint with live data. So when I click on it, what it will do, it is saying that, okay, this is the link which you can use. Now I will go to my PowerPoint in the presentation, original presentation. I will go to insert and here you have an option of Power BI. You have an option of Power BI. For the first time, maybe you don't have this option. So you might install an add-in from wherever, like in the insert tab somewhere, there's an option over here to plug in some new add-in or install some add-ins. Okay, and just type Power BI, it will show you this option. Once that is done, when I click on it, it will get this container. It will ask you, can you give me the link for that page which you wanted to show here, which I have copied already. Now, because I am using the same account in my Power BI as well as in PPT, it is suggesting me these are the possible things which you are already having, which one you want to go. But I am not going for any random report. I have already selected what I wanted to show here. And then click insert. Now what it will do in this container, which is Power BI friendly, within PowerPoint, it will bring that page itself in its interactive form. Okay, so I will use this full page, whatever is possible. And then if I click on, let's say sparkling water, it is interactive. So it is all done by Power BI itself. You just need to go to your report, respected report. You need to say export to PowerPoint, but live data. It will give you a link for this particular page, whatever you are currently viewing. And then copy that and insert using Power BI, paste that link, insert, now it is using your account. So that's why it is able to access. Now imagine that you give this link to someone else who is not Achillesh. It will not allow unless that person is having access to that report. So this is also secured. It's not that you have just inserted and then sent the PPT to 10 people. They should have access to this PBI dashboard. Then only they will see it.
which in an organization environment i think which will always be the case you would like to show it to people who are having the access unless you are presenting it yourself Thank you.